guys make sure to stay tuned and one common mistake if you make that mistake guys we will talk about what it is it can actually cost you thousands of dollars in repairs they will will explain what it is hey guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a bmw 5 series generation f10 f11 from year 2010 to year 2017 if you need to find where the fuse for the uh, front passenger power seat is located which fuses you need to check up to eight of them in two different fuse boxes we'll explain where you can find them where you can buy cheap parts to use fuses relays at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure it's stay until the end before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos guys we take them completely apart we show you how to do almost anything transmissions engines bodywork coats fuses why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos now guys we took pictures of every fuse box in that bmw okay uh, every fuse box so we can clearly guys show you where everything is located so you can clearly see the fuses because otherwise they're hidden in places where practically we cannot get the camera so we're going to show you one by one okay we have video about every single fuse every single relay so let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to guys okay find where the fuel pump fuse is located all you have to do watch our video it will take you probably guys less than two minutes replace that fuse and you're back on the road otherwise you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere guys we make those videos for your convenience now uh, we'll make video for every single fuse and every single relay guys and we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channel check it out they can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so for the front passenger power seat which fuses we need to check we will demonstrate on this BMW 5 series here now guys 9 out of 10 people do not know about all the hidden fuse boxes in that BMW 5 series check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on BMW F10 F11 what you need to do open the passenger door then open the glove box on the very back side on the right you have a cover remove it and underneath you'll find a fuse box with a layout like this one before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not for instance i'm going to pull one fuse here okay and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good they're bad and let's say you think you have a good fuse you put it back in and you end up having problems again and you spend time money you buy parts diagnostics you pay for services that you don't need guys you practically wasted your money so all you have to do waste uh, ch ch check your fuses that way you don't waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well so guys if you want to buy fuses relays parts tools at a really good price quick shipping as well guys we're going to put a link in the description of the video below guys uh, make sure you get some for peace of mind and you can put some spare ones in the glove box so there are quite a few fuses that you need to check for the power seat guys okay quite a few uh, now the first one that we need to check is fuse number 27 so 27 if we come uh, guys okay in that row of fuses here okay uh, now that's 23 4 5 6 7 it's that fuse that you see right under the cable guys okay that fuse right here the next one that you need to check is fuse number 32 so that's 35 4 3 2 32 okay that fuse here will need to be checked so if we zoom in to see these two fuses that's 32 that's 27 so you can clearly see it now another fuse guys okay that we need to check specifically will be fuse number 52 and 52 guys okay we need to come in that row right here and now that's 55 54 53 52 right here that's fuse number 52 they need to check 53 
right next to it. These two fuses will need to be checked. And then you have one more, which is under that relay, that row of fuses here. We're talking about fuse number 67. Okay, now we need to go to a different fuse box, open the trunk here on the right side of your trunk. You have that cover, remove it and underneath you have a fuse box. Please make sure it's empty with it. We want to give you one good advice that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. But here guys, okay, the fuses that you need to check. The first one is known as fuse number 112. You may or may not have this one depending on the, uh, on the package option guys. But okay, right here 112, check this one. Very important fuse and then you need to check fuse number 114, that 5M fuse here as well will need to be checked. So you guys have all kinds of different fuses, relays, okay, in that car. So what we recommend, guys, okay, buy some spare fuses, relays, put them in the glove box for a peace of mind. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't get one, okay, and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere. So always keep some spare fuses and relays in your glove box, guys. That way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. Hopefully the video was helpful, guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time.